Here's something you might not hear very often in school. It's okay to fail. In fact, failure can be an important part of the engineering design process. When doing an engineering project, you might build something that doesn't work well or doesn't work at all on the first try, and that's okay. The engineering design process is often iterative, meaning you might cycle through the steps of designing, building, and testing something multiple times. When testing, you can learn from your failures. For example, you can ask, when did my design fail? Where did it fail? How did it fail? And why did it fail? This can help you identify weak spots or areas of a design that need to be improved. Even if your design doesn't fail, you may identify aspects of the design that can be changed to improve its performance. You might literally wind up going back to the drawing board to modify a design or even start it over. It can take multiple iterations of designing, building, and testing for engineers to arrive at a final design. So remember, when doing an engineering design project, there isn't a single right answer that you're supposed to solve for right away, and it's okay if your design doesn't work like you expect it to at first. Be prepared to iterate, analyze your failures, and use what you learn to improve your design. For a complete guide to the engineering design process, click the link in the description below this video. For thousands of fun, hands-on science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.